We're back once again, Baseball Brunch alongside Dalton Varsho. If you saw our episode just a couple of days ago, we had a great breakfast ordered off of the Wendy's app, which by the way, if you are a new user to the app, you get a free 10 piece nugget. So there's a little motivation. You can also continue to earn free food. So Dalton, we talked about brunch last time and learned that you love breakfast, you cook breakfast. Uh, your wife's more of the, the dinner chef, but you do breakfast. So now we're gonna talk about some baseball. And uh, one thing we know is, you know, first of all, are you having, how much fun are you having this year? I mean, obviously you guys aren't where you wanna be, but you've improved so much from last year. Yeah, I think it's just, uh... It's so exciting for the youth to kind of finally come up and uh, we're gonna have more probably coming up here pretty soon. So I think that's what's the fun part about it is like, it's kind of a different style of baseball, I think a little bit, cause there's a little bit more speed, a lot more action. Um, and I think it's just, for me, it's a lot more fun in the outfield of having Alec and Jake McCarthy both out there. And we, we, we create a lot of speed and we cover a lot of ground and uh, we just try to have fun out there along with each other and we pull for one another. and. Um, I think you just start seeing a lot of guys that are really caring for one another and it's really cool to kind of be around. Yeah, you guys have all come up together through the minors and you were one of the first ones in that wave of players. But speaking of the outfield, you guys do visibly have fun out there, especially celebrating after games. So you have something new. Mark Grace and I noticed this, kind of the glove on the head and then you're kind of doing something with your hands. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. So uh, Jake kind of <laughs> created it. It's uh, kind of the grinder mentality of like, we're just all in it together and trying to do everything that we can for one another. So it's just kind of a cool kind of celebration. We laugh about it and um, we just kind of keep playing how we want to play. And um, we just are able to hopefully do it day in and day out. And even when the struggles hit, you just got to still stick with your teammates. So that's what, what we kind of go over the top of each other because we're all always picking one of each other up at all times. That's awesome that you guys, yeah, I mean, there's a little meaning behind the celebrations too, which is what I like. But then can Alex still do the twirl with Geraldo or? Oh yeah. So does he have he, the double? Yeah, cause... he's got the double, he's got the double celebration. Cause that's a so. fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the height difference is kind of fun to watch, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Those two guys. But there's a lot of speed out there, like you mentioned. Um, I'm curious. I know, you know, your dad, Gary, we talked about his playing career and how that influenced you. But growing up, was there another player? You know, was there a player you liked to watch? I'm sure you looked up to your dad and then, of course, after his playing career. But who did you like to watch? Uh, so when he was in Philly, I was a really big Jim Tomey guy. Uh, I loved him and he, he always took time for me to like go down the cage, flip me baseballs and like just took the extra little bit out of his day to try to make my day. And uh, that's one thing I've kind of realized here this, lot, this second half is I'm gonna try to do everything that I can to try to make everybody else's day a little bit better. And uh, it's not always about you and trying to take the selfishness out of it. And, uh, just play for my team and do everything that I can to help kind of help these younger guys kind of get their feet on the ground because we're a young team and I know how hard it is because I came up when there was a lot of older guys and um, I was lucky enough to have Cole Calhoun to kind of put his arm around me and, and kind of trust me of being like, hey, you're going to be a guy here. You just got to keep grinding through even when things are things are not going well. And so I'm hoping able to do that for a lot of young guys that are going to come up and um, I know how hard it is. Like I know what it's like to fail up here. I also know what it's like to succeed. So. That's one thing that I really want to help these guys with is just trusting who they are. And uh, it doesn't matter how you play. If you play with a lot of energy down in the minor leagues, come up here and do the same thing. Nobody nobody should look at you any differently. And uh, at the end of the day, it's about winning and putting a W in the column. So um, if you can do that by creating a lot of energy and helping us out by maybe stealing a base and getting the team going, that's a great way to help us out. So, yeah. um, and the one thing that I, I try to preach to a lot of guys is don't take your bats out to the field if you like shut it down and um, forget about it because defense is really big for us. As you can see throughout the season, when we have pitching defense, we're in a lot of baseball games. So uh, it's pretty cool to kind of see a lot of the guys grow and um, just become who they are. I mean, that's so many great points there. I mean, Tommy doing what he did for you and now you want to pay it forward. So I love that. And those guys are going to benefit from that. You're still growing, but you you are one of the more mature voices in there, even though you've only been here for a short time. So Dalton, thanks so much. It's been fun to visit with you on the baseball brunch. Yeah, thank you. All right, once again, we're presented by Wendy's.